Good afternoon, welcome to the City Hydro Kobe Microgreen Grow Along Day 3. As you can see the tray looks nice and pristine, all the, micro, uh, the microgreen seeds are starting to sprout nicely. There's a few root hairs showing up. The spaces that we fixed yesterday where the uh, seeds washed up on the tray are nice and flat. Everything should start rooting in a couple of days here and we're starting to see a really nice germination. About 90 to 95 percent germination rate right now. Uh, so we're going to give it a nice spraying job for 30 seconds again. Back and forth, back and forth, making sure that you cover every part of the pad, even in the corners. Make sure you get the corners really well. Back and forth for about 30 seconds. Back and forth, back and forth. And again, there's some water building up in the bottom of the tray. That's fine. That water will be, will be soaked up uh, by the roots when they start to drop. So back and forth. And now we're going to do the lid for 10 seconds. As you can see, the lid from yesterday still has some water droplets on it, still nice and moist, creating that nice terrarium uh, environment down inside the tray. That's what gives us a nice germination rate and gives us a nice full look to our microgreens. I'm going to give that a nice spraying for 10 seconds. Back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm going to put the lid on and back up onto the germination rack. And then I'm going to grab the tray down with it has the bamboo in it and see how they're doing. So if you're doing this up on the rack and you're not bringing it down to the table, you're not going to see any issues that might be occurring inside the tray. Everything again here looks pretty good. All the sticks look great. Everything looks fantastic. All the seeds are nice and germinated, so we're going to give that a nice spray. There's no big clumps of seeds anywhere. So the big clumps of seeds cause rot. So if there's any area, say like here, that might be clumped up and the, there are a bunch of seeds on top of each other, the seeds on the top are going to germinate. Seeds on the bottom might start to germinate, but they might start to rot as well because they're getting away, a little bit too much moisture and a little bit too much heat from the seeds on top germinating. That's where you might have an issue with some mold or some root rot happening down inside the tray. So you want to make sure, sure that everything is flat and nice and pristine inside the tray when you're doing your watering. Checking it every day ensures that you're going to get a really nice tray of microgreens at the end of the day. Okay, again, 30 seconds back and forth, back and forth, covering it up. Now I'm going to do the lid as well again. Even though the lid is still moist from yesterday, still a nice coating for about 10 seconds on the lid. Give it a cover, back up on the germination rack. Um, today's a little bit shorter because we're having a uh, gala with the city at the Office of Sustainability tonight. And one of our growers, Samaruko Greens, will actually be there with us. She not only does her own growing of microgreens, she also has her own catering business that she grows the microgreens for and makes amazing sandwiches, rolls, wraps, salads, using the microgreens that she grows and selling those in her catering business, which helps twofold on her food costs and on her profit margins. Gives her a really good ROI on the microgreens and on the food that she's producing. If any of you are going to be around in Baltimore, stop by the Office of Sustainability for the gala and stop by our booth. Happy growing and have a great afternoon.